Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So it is the 26th of October today, which means we are only five days away from Halloween. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at some of the rarest Halloween masks that can be acquired in GTA 5 Online. We're also gonna be taking a look at a bunch of unreleased masks that Rockstar Games have had in the game files for a few years now however for some dumb reason have yet to release them into the game i'm also going to be giving you guys a quick heads up on a brand new hotfix update that rockstar games have only just rolled out a few hours ago as well as letting you guys know about a massive change to do with the brand new ufo event so as always if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you do appreciate me keeping up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so of course today being October 26th and a Saturday, we are on day 12 of the UFO sightseeing challenge and here on screen is the location of UFO number 12, which is the location for today. As you guys can see on screen, it is very, very easy to find directly above the power plant on the east side of the map. And of course, all you guys have to do to take part in this challenge is pull up your phone, open your camera, take a picture and send it to Omega. Now there is gonna be a bunch of different unlocks you can get from this year's UFO event. So don't worry if you guys haven't been able to take pictures of every single UFO. If you have taken pictures of every single UFO, then you will be unlocking three rare alien caps that do glow in the dark. As you guys can see on screen, they do come in three different colors. However, if you guys have missed one of the UFOs that will only be spawning in once, don't worry, because as you guys can see on screen by the calendar, on Halloween day, you will be able to get abducted by the UFOs, which will be unlocking these boxer shorts that you can see on screen. Now, you will unlock these boxer shorts if you get abducted and you don't get teleported to the Fort Sancudo bunker, which there will be a 50-50 chance of. So if you end up getting teleported to a random location in the map, you will unlock the boxers. However, if you do get teleported to the Vault Sankudo Bunker, then you guys will have the potential to unlock the brand new Stun Baton weapon. You guys will have 10 minutes inside of this bunker before gas is released. So all you guys will have to do is locate a crowbar and then simply make your way inside of this room where you can break open this box to unlock the new weapon. And you must take note because we could only get abducted on Halloween day, that is likely going to be the only day that you guys can unlock this new weapon so if you are wanting to get the stun button do take note that you have to log in on halloween day now if you guys can think back to last year's ufo event there was also another new unlock that players received known as the question mark t if you guys aren't aware once again by getting abducted last year you guys would also get teleported to the Vault Sankudo laboratory. However, you wouldn't be able to go ahead and explore around the building, but instead your character was strapped down to the table. And once you guys returned back to free roam, your character did unlock this question mark t-shirt. Now, of course, a lot of people have said there is a hidden message in this t-shirt and using a number to letter decoder, the message actually translated to one day will reveal all. So whether that's to do with GTA 6 or the Mount Chiliad mystery finally getting revealed in GTA 5 soon, only Rockstar Games knows. However, it will be interesting to see if Rockstar Games do allow players to unlock this t-shirt again that maybe missed out on this event last year. And finally, some more unreleased content that is alien themed is this alien themed outfit. As you guys can see on screen, this was also found in the game files last year. However, no player has been able to go ahead and officially unlock this outfit as of yet. So hopefully Rockstar Games will also include this as an unlock at the end of the UFO event. 
Now, a lot of you guys have been reminding me that for the past two years, Rockstar Games have been drip feeding vintage Halloween masks into the game as exclusive unlocks during the Halloween event. This year is the only year where Rockstar Games have yet to release any vintage Halloween masks. As I'm sure all of you guys are aware, we have all of the bog standard Halloween masks that Rockstar Games release every single year, including the Frankenstein masks, the clown masks, and basically all of the masks that have been on the game since PS3 and Xbox 360 days. However, like I said, there is another category of Halloween masks that only certain players have unlocked that were able to play the game during a certain time or complete a certain challenge during a previous Halloween event. And I actually managed to go ahead and unlock pretty much all of these masks that Rockstar Games officially released. So as you guys can see on screen, we've got a white vintage skull mask. We've also got the green vintage witch mask, which Rockstar Games released last year, which also comes with a special mask audio. So if you guys aren't aware, there is specific masks in the game where if you go down to your interaction menu, you can play the mask audio. So a lot of you guys that maybe never played last year, never unlocked this mask. We've also got a blue vintage werewolf mask, which also comes in an orange version which also comes with a special mask audio, which sounds like a werewolf howling. Rockstar Games also went ahead and released some vintage devil masks, and they have officially released the amber version along with the scarlet version. These masks also come with a creepy devil laugh sound effect. We've also got two vintage Frankenstein masks, as you guys can see on screen, come in a gray and a brown. Rockstar Games also released a green vintage mummy mask and I do believe they also released this the year they released the mummy outfit for a lot of you guys that may not be aware this is a rare mask in the game and then finally they've also released two vintage vampire masks as you guys can see on screen comes in a light green and a dark green and a very unique vampire looking mask with the blood all over the mouth. So like I said, these are 12 vintage Halloween masks that Rockstar Games have drip fed over the last couple years. And what is quite weird is that there is more vintage masks that were found in the game files. I'll whack a few on screen right now for you guys, just so you can see what ones Rockstar Games have officially unlocked that I just showed you guys, compared to all of the ones that were found in the game files. And in case you guys missed my video the other day, I also spoke about a bunch of demon tech masks, which Rockstar Games have also got in the game files, yet have not officially released into the game yet. They did release one of these demon tech masks as a GTA Plus exclusive. So whether Rockstar Games are gonna release more of these as a GTA Plus exclusive, only time will tell. However, I am very, very interested to hear from you guys on this one. What vintage masks do you guys have unlocked for your character? Do you have any more that I never covered in this video? And let me know, would you guys also like to see Rockstar Games release the rest of these masks on Halloween day? And if you do want to make sure you do keep up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news before I post my videos, then do be sure to go ahead and join my Discord server, which will be linked in the pinned comment underneath this video. Nonetheless, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily. Daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!